What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I did something foolish, but exciting. I bought myself a Bashin 250 Moto Max, or Moto Max 250. It is coming in, in a box, right now. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna unbox it this video. I know I got a lot of flack last unboxing video. <laughs> because people thought it was a review. So this is an unboxing video. I'm super excited. It's a it's a dual sport um, for street, but it's kind of like a dirt bike suspension kind of setup. So I'm excited. Uh, let's get to it. Delivery should be happening soon. to fall over a bit. Is it gonna fall over? No, you good, okay. Probably registration and uh, title stuff, I'm assuming. Now you can't show this on camera, this is confidential. People will steal my identity. We're here, we got the bike, let's get it out of the box. So far it's been a really smooth process. It's been a really smooth process. And even the like guy who's, who's delivering it, he was like, I had never heard of somebody shipping a motorcycle before. And I was like, yeah, this, these people do. <laughs> let's keep coming. says it's 90% assembled um, upon delivery and this is why the handlebars just aren't installed yet. Uh, everything else is running and driving condition. It's just the handlebars. They give you all the hardware as well over here and mirrors, some other odds and ends. We got the keys and the manual and everything right here. So we just have to get it all installed but tonight we're not going to. We're just going to back it out, probably just store it uh, for tonight and I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. Well, the next morning turned out to be uh, pretty rainy. We got the bike here and it made a big old mess. It made a big old mess of my like garage area. We're still moving, so that's why it's a little bit messy too. But I got like all my stuff here, got my bikes, got five motorcycles now. We're, we're using like the old like caveman tools today because again, we're still moving. I don't have all my tools that I'd like to use, but it's a pretty simple job, so I'm not too worried about it. Got my coffee, got my speaker, got a freaking tripod. I still need to adjust the chain, but we're ready for a first start. I'm just gonna leave it in neutral. Um, the chain is too tight for it to ride on. Um, but I think a first start is kind of necessary at this point, so let's do it.
All right, let's let's turn up a little bit more. I'll say it again one more time, what we're doing here. Okay, so we're adjusting the idle screw. So this is a carburetor bike, so it has an idle screw here. Injected bikes, of course, don't have this. Um, so you just turn the idle screw there. If you tighten it, it makes it idle higher. So I think straight out of the factory, out of the box, they hadn't set it, so I'm thinking that it was just idling too low and just couldn't stay on. So let's try it again. <laughs> the unlock button. What is it? It flashes the lights. Let's see what it Yeah, no, it flashed the, the front LED uh, turn signals. Look at that. What the heck? That's kind of cool. It has a remote start. Let's try remote starting it. Oh. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool, though. That's a remote start. <laughs> a dual sport with a remote start? That's pretty dope. That's, that's kind of cool, man. It does just want to keep dying, though, huh? It does. I, let's, let's try to troubleshoot this. You have, you have a couple minutes? Yeah, I got a couple minutes. Let's do it. This light's still on too. And that's yeah, just flashing I, the hazards though. Oh, that's the uh, that's the alarm. I, I definitely took the alarm out. I learned the hard way on that bad boy. And this kickstand. Oh gosh. Yeah, that was an experience. Lock, unlock it. Did you have a similar experience with this one or you just didn't chance yeah, it? Well, I didn't chance it. I looked at the seat because you had to connect the battery straight from the box. Uh huh. And uh, I could see that there was an alarm system on it. And it was the same speaker that came in the electric Chinese bike. Mm. And I'm like, disconnect. <laughs> Not doing that again. Stop it. Genuine, Stop it, guys. please. Stop it. Isn't he doing a great job? Such a great job. <laughs> My job. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> all the way up. I think it's just idling too low still. All right, let's see how it does now. I think it's just the idle screw. Yeah. You should probably bring it up a little bit more yet, I think. Yeah. It sounds like a Harley right now. Yeah. <laughs> Not a dual sport, that's for sure. Yeah. That's more like it right yeah, now. Yeah, it sounds a lot better. Okay, so the, the fix that we did was um, I just had to adjust the idle screw. That was the only reason this thing was kind of bogging down and cutting out. The idle screw was not turned as much as it should be inwards. Uh, so I did that and it fired right up. Let's see if it will remote start. This thing does have a remote start. So check this out. If I push unlock, it flashes the little things and I just push the on button. Well, I gotta hold it down. That's super cool, dude. Like, wow, how? For the price you pay for this thing, you get a lot of stuff. <laughs> you get a lot of good stuff. That's insane. I wonder if I can stop it with the lock button. I'm getting a few more of these, dude. Christmas is right around the corner. <laughs> All right, so we still need to adjust the chain. That is the last thing I need to do from the factory. But this, guys, is the Moto Max 250. This is a Bashin 250, um, shipped by P Sports. Um, very cool company. Uh, hooked me up, shipped it straight to my door. Super excited. Um, 
but the last thing we have to do is adjust the chain still. I already assembled the front end. You have to assemble the handlebars yourself. You have to put all the levers on, all that good stuff. Um, you have to put the foot pegs on, but that's pretty much it. And then just adjust the chain. From factory, they do definitely make it a little tight, um, just so the wheel isn't wobbling around. You can see how stiff that chain is. So we're gonna loosen that up a little bit, uh, but not too much, because it is a street setup. So you don't want it too much slack like a dirt bike, but you don't want it this tight. So that's our next step, let's get to it. All right, well, with the chain adjusted, we're gonna freaking rip it, see what we can do. Uh, it's getting dark right now, though, so we'll see what we can do. Well, it got a little bit darker on us than we expected. I guess I'll just remote start it and we'll give it a rip. I wonder if it drive without the keys. I think it would. <laughs> I have the keys in my hand. Let's see if it'll, if it'll, it'll probably kill itself if I put it in. Probably only for like 20 feet though. Let's see, let's see. Keys are in my pocket. Keys are in my pocket. Let's see. So there's no key in the ignition. Let's see how it does. It just started right back up. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Yeah, that is kind of strange. So, I mean, literally, if you remote started it and somebody jumped on the bike, they could just rip it right away. <laughs> just steal that crap. Let's see if I lock it, if it'll turn itself off. Didn't we test this already? Yeah, it did. So, if somebody does steal it <laughs> while you remote start it, you can lock it and it'll kill it. As long as you don't have to chase them down with the key. Ah, like the turn off, out. turn off. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Yeah, not bad, not bad so far. Yeah, what's the initial impression? Uh, It still feels like it's choky a bit. Like every now and then it'll kind of sputter, um, but decently powerful, not bad for a one cylinder. Let's try it again. All right, don't get yeah, hit by this car. Yeah. All right, here we go. Alright, you ready? Do it. Alright, here we go. That's fun, dude. That's that's a lot of fun. This is a pretty sweet bike. I'm super stoked. That's super cool. Into exhaust though, that's for sure. But it's got some pretty mad, it's got some pretty good response. I think the engine just needs to get broken in. I have le less than a mile on the odometer, so I think the engine just needs to break in a little bit. Get some fuel running through it. Yeah, not bad, dude. Not bad. Yeah, very cool. And you, you do have headlight adjustments on this too. So, what's the running light? That's the running light right there. That's the headlight, high beam, turns, turns. And this is just all off right there. That's like stealth mode. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Well, that is gonna wrap it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm freaking stoked on this thing. Um, so this bike is 49 states legal. It's technically not California legal. Um, it's not carb approved, I believe. I emailed the people at um, P Sports and they told me basically that nobody's really tried to register it in California. They gave me the certificate of origin and that's pretty much all you need um, to register a bike. So I may just try it. I may just try it. See if I can get this thing street legal and just tear it. You know, just rip it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and kind of get a sense that what it's like to buy a motorcycle online because it's actually becoming a thing now and I'm super excited about it. I'm a super big online shopper. I like to, you know, Amazon's my like BFF. And so when I'm seeing these bikes popping up online, they ship it straight to your door. 
like I'm stoked dude so I figured I ordered one show you guys what it's like I already ordered one from China showed you guys what it's like big hassle this goes straight to your door like no questions asked you don't have to do anything beyond that so that's it guys I'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching straight to your door from the USA watch out watch out watch out watch out